Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm Phoenix. And today we're going to be talking about the biggest controversy in the U.S. right now, and that would be Edward Snowden. But let's start with the Bill of Rights. It clearly states that people cannot be denied freedom of speech or freedom of the press. Now, when Snowden breached the NSA and took information of documents and disclosed it to the public and then ran to another country, kind of left people questioning. The reason why you may ask is why NBC and different politicians started calling him a terrorist. And why, like, and so would you run? I would. Because when you say terrorism or terrorist in this country, people panic. Yep. Just in this past April, even Hillary Clinton was comparing Snowden as a terrorist. According to the National Journal article, it states, Speaking at the University of Connecticut on Wednesday night, Hillary Clinton made a restrained but nonetheless damning attack against Edward Snowden. At the event, the interviewer asked Clinton whether she thought the formal National Security Agency's contractor's disclosure about its domestic spying programs had any positive effects on American security policy or public disclosure. Without ever explicitly mentioning the NSA's spying program, Clinton justified their utility in protecting the U.S. from another terrorist attack in the wake of 9-11. Now, I'm sure Snowden has been on your mind because he has definitely been on ours. So the information he leaked kind of changed our point of view about the government and what they've really been doing behind our backs. So Victoria went ahead and posted a poll on Facebook and... Um, she was said found that nobody said like nobody thought that Snowden did anything wrong. So, the f although there was people who did find that there was no justification in fleeing to an anti-American country with the knowledge he did have, so there was the pros and the cons with that. But the fact that he blew the whistle on the NSA was just a way of doing his part as an American citizen. Everybody has that right, and it is justified by law. So the reason for fleeing must be looked at here. What did our government do to make this man so scared? The real question is that, folks. Just tell us one thing. That the rights of the freedom of speech and the right to freedom of press are being hindered by the government. Also, it does tell us that our government is spying on its people to protect us after 9-11. <laughs> Who's Snowden exactly, though? Like, do you know about him? Because, well, I do. Because in this, I read in the Scholastic magazine that Snowden, 30, grew up in North Carolina and Maryland. He dropped out of high school in the 10th grade. Good with computers, he took a number of tech courses over the years but never graduated. Eventually, Snowden's computer skills got him jobs with companies that work with the NSA, a high-tech division of the U.S. Department of Defense. So, before he became one of the most infamous whistleblowers of our country today. He was a high school dropout who got a job based on the fact that he had the intellect big companies were looking for. This article in the School Lesson magazine also states what he did. In the spring of 2013, Snowden leaked details of PRISM an electronic surveillance program he'd been working on. PRISM grew out of the U.S. concerns about terrorism after the 2001 terrorist attacks on New York City and Washington, D.C. that killed nearly 3,000 people. Snowden told reporters that he had come forward because he believed that PRISM and other similar programs go too far, violating the privacy rights of people who aren't suspected of wrongdoing. Snowden stated, much of what I saw on the job really disillusioned me on what my, uh, and how, what and how my government functions and what its impact in the world is. On June 6, 
2013, the Washington Post, a British newspaper, The Guardian, ran their first stories about what Snowden had told them. And in the Guardian, in one of the Guardian's headlines, it stated, NSA Prism Program taps into user data of Apple, Google, and others. <clears throat> Huge companies. Companies you probably use every day of your life. Snowden stated <clears throat> that what he saw the government doing had gone too far. He is obviously shaken and uncomfortable with these actions that they've been doing. So, according to the dictionary.com, what is a whistleblower? A person who informs on another or makes public disclosure of corruption or wrongdoing. Snowden believed what he was doing was for the good of the public. He was exposing what the government does to people without their knowledge. And it's exactly what whistleblowers are for. The media makes him out to be a terrorist, which is kind of uncalled for and probably the reason why he fled to another country, because he's just merely a citizen doing his job. Yeah. Just like you could, just like we are. Yes. <laughs> now let me go ahead and quote Mr. Snowden here. He said, who I am really doesn't matter at all. You can hate me. What really matters here are the issues. What really matters here is what kind of government you want. What kind of internet you want. I am an American and a citizen, just like everyone else. Snowden said this on TED Talks. He saw so many disturbing things that the people had no knowledge of. And he wanted to go to Congress, but there was all, there's always a risk with doing that. Because as with any whistleblower, there's a chance that no one's going to hear you or no one's going to pay attention. And then where so, would we be? Exactly. So he decided to go ahead and work with a journalist. And that was probably the best decision he ever made. Snowden explained what PRISM was. It isn't just metadata. It's about content. It can deputize corporate America. And when taken to court, it was an unjust court. It was a secret court. The NSA can see any record of any unencrypted site and who visits that site. The government uses Section 215 of the Patriot Act to make this legal in the eyes of the public or to companies who are just trying to fight back because that is what you're supposed to do. Now this was all from TED Talks, and when he made actual appearance with a computer screen while he was still in Russia. What does the government do? It tries to make the public see what they're doing through the Patriot Act, mainly through Section 215, which, by the way, according to ACLU, Section 215 allows the FBI to order any person or entity. So if you're living, you can, you're under this ruling. Ruling. <laughs> to turn over any tangible things. So lightly long, used. Yeah, here. lightly used. <laughs> so long as the FBI specifies that the order is for an authorized investigation to protect against international international terrorism mm. that's ridiculous I'm which sorry. is I mean one international the, I mean this isn't even international at this point like you guys are spying inside our country like inside our nation it's inside not our international nation. international it's inside our nation <laughs> think about that ACL ACLU dot org goes further saying that section 215. It vastly expands the FBI's power to spy on just ordinary people. Now with this section of the Patriot Act, the FBI does not need probable cause, suspicion, or even a real reason to spy on any person. Scary. Exactly. So here's an example that we actually got from ACLU.org. Um, the FBI could spy on any person because they don't like the books she reads, or because they don't like the website she visits, or they could spy on her just because she wrote a letter to an editor that criticized government policy. Whoa, such a threat, such terrorism. But these are violations of her rights. And this is the conflict that we are facing. Because our government did not want the people to know that they were spying on everybody. And not just the people who may or may not be terrorists. Your grandmother. <laughs> our government has grown at an alarming rate. 
And now we can see that our big government is doing what our forefathers were afraid of. It is our constitutional right to freedom of speech and to allow the people to know what our government is doing. But our government is trying to stop whistleblowers in their tracks. He's not the only one to be exposed to the, pub to the public as a terrorist for leaking information that the people should know. The major issue here is, is Section 215 Constitution. No. Constitutional. What does that mean to the government? Uh, nothing. It's Pretty just Pretty much, word. because the answer to that is no. Section, no. Section 215 is not constitutional. In fact, it violates two amendments. The first one we're going to talk about is the Fourth Amendment. So according to Cornell's Law's website, I'm reading exactly, the Fourth Amendment originally enforced the notion that each man's home is his castle. So it's secure, it's secure from unreasonable searches and seizures of property by the government itself. It protects against arbitrary arrests, and it is the basis of law regarding search warrants, stop and frisk, safety inspection, wiretaps, and other forms of surveillance. Anything you can think of. As well as being central to many other criminal law topics and privacy of law. So Section 215 of the Patriarch also violates the First Amendment. Which states, Congress shall make no law respecting and established for religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abiding the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble even <laughs> and to the petition the government for a readiness of grievances well that seems weird because that's what Edward Snowden was trying to do wow if the FBI does not like the way a person is living their life at this point. That person can be surveillance without probable, just, or reasonable cause. This is how Section 215 violates the First Amendment. But what Snowden was trying to show to the public was how our government was violating our freedoms. In the Constitution that has been laid out since, well, the beginning, our government is not being run correctly and should be under surveillance. People shouldn't be under surveillance. The government should. Those noted did run to a country that was anti-American. His initial actions were justified and legal. The fact of the matter is that our government is violating our rights and is not doing what our forefathers set out to do for this country. This type of surveillance of our citizens without probable cause, checking out what people are looking at online, trying, trying to involve corporate companies to share their intel, and being unconstitutional is not the way our government should be running.